Caleb Ewan, though, working his way towards the front. Ewan surfing the other wheels, freelancing. It's a messy sprint. Alexander Kristoff is there. I think he's leading out Jasper Philipson. Philipson's going to be sprinting for UAE today. But uh, here comes Caleb Ewan now. His far as a big crash there. Right, he's going down, but Ewan powering away from the rest. A violent crash behind him. And look at the Australian go. No contest. Ewan wins at a canter. Ackerman in second place. It was close at the end between Cocard and Bonifacio for third place. Bennett was nowhere. As they push for the line. I think it's one of these. Ah, oh, there's a switch of line there by Pascal Ackerman, and that is what uh, takes the rider out. I think it was one of the riders from uh, Circus Wanty Gobert, but uh, Caleb Ewan's victory in the end. Well, three to Ackerman. Now, Ackerman, well, we get live pictures of him here. Looks like he may be watching a replay, shaking his head. He's certainly behind the podium. Maybe he too is awaiting news like we are. Whether or not that second place will stand remains to be seen. That's the moment that he switched lines. Actually, it's, it's one of the riders from the Rival team who's gone down so hard there. Well, you see are now in consultation. Now watch Ackerman in the colours of Border Hands Grow here. This is the moment he tries to see. He sees that gap and goes for it and just takes the wheel of the rider who's gone down hard there. Philipson also feeling like he's a bit boxed in there. Not appreciating the sprint of Nicola Bonifacio, who he was suggesting took his line at the finish. Yeah. Winner of stage three into Sisteron on the Tour de France, and then won again in Poitiers, then battled his way through the mountains. Dropped, and, uh, wanting to be competitive in Paris, but the legs were tired by then, only picked up seventh place in Paris. His first race back since Paris was in Ghent Wevelgen, which he didn't finish at the weekend, but he comes to the Celle de Pays for the first time of asking the Sprinters Classic, and he takes the win in handsome style. Caleb Ewan is the victor. Of that, there was absolutely no doubt. Behind that mask, he is grinning from ear to ear, the popular Australian. His next uh, outing will be at the three days of Japan, so he is uh, not going to the Vuelta.